now let's step on to the real picture so the first thing we are going to discuss today is called as an components of the selenium or in other language you can say it as an version of selenium so generally like there are three components in the selenium so one we call it as an selenium ide and other is like selenium web driver and before the selenium web driver there was an another version so which we call it as an selenium rc so rc is like kind of an remote control but uh, currently this version is not available they have depreciated from the market so just for a knowledge check i am just highlighting it up and third thing is like we can call it as an selenium grid so these are the like three components like which are available in the uh, selenium so the first version so we call it as an selenium ide or we can say this as an uh, version one of the selenium so initially like in a market so the selenium has launched the version called as an selenium ide okay so now let's see how we can use the selenium ide as i told with the help of the selenium we are going to automate the web page so when it launched yes it come up with the same expectation like we are going to automate the web page and we can automate the web page which is present in the two particular web page so one is like in a two particular browser so one is like chrome and firefox the selenium ide will work only on the chrome and the firefox so in order to work in the chrome and the firefox like we need to add the extension okay so we need to add the extension or we can say it as a plugin so we need to add the plugin in the respective web browser so that the selenium ide will be working app so how we are going to add the extension in the sense obviously right from the chrome store or from the firefox store and this is just for the knowledge shake in the real time like we are not going to use the selenium ide anywhere so let me just open my <clears throat> chrome so here what i'm going to do i'm going to open a new tab and uh, i'm going to navigate to the chrome store so i'm just navigating to the chrome store where i am going to search the extension called as an selenium ide so here you could see we are able to see an extension called as an selenium ide so i am just clicking on the extension okay so once you click on the extension so as i have already added this extension to my chrome so it is showing me the option called as an remove from home chrome but uh, in your case like it will be appearing as add to chrome so just click on the add to chrome so once you click on add to chrome at the top right corner like you could be able to see the extension logo okay this is called as an extension logo if you click on this extension like under the extension like you could be able to see the selenium ide okay so how the selenium id added in the sense like you need to navigate to the appropriate store and you need to add it as an extension so like uh, <coughs> so post adding the extension like it will be available in the extension tab and you can just double click on the selenium id and it will be opening in your project okay so even this is a kind of an id so whenever we are uh, working on the id the base step is like we need to create a project i am going to create a new project and just i am giving the uh, project name as like uh, sample okay and then i am clicking on okay so now the project has created the name of the project we call it as a sample so in this id like we are having three section so one we call it as a comment okay so we are having the three section called as an comment target and another one we call it as an value so let's see like uh, how this three section is helping us to do the automation so basically with the help of the selenium ide we are going to do the record and playback testing
So what is mean by record and playback testing in a sense? Like we are going to record something and we are going to re-verify so whether the recorded thing is correct or not. So let's say like how our video cam operates. So like we will be capturing our happy moments and we will be just uh, redoing our, uh, ju just we will be replaying the happy moments, which means like whenever we are playing for the n number of times, so only the happy moments will be display displaying. So it is not going to uh, project or our happy moments are not going to turn into the sad moment in the video. <clears throat> in a similar way, like if we, uh, if we have recorded any flow in an application, so whatever the flow which we have recorded, so it should re-repeat the same flow. If there is any deviation, so then we call it as an issue. And how we are going to do this uh, record and playback testing in the sense, so in the Selenium IDE, at the top left corner, sorry, top right corner, like we will be having an option called as an record. So like in order to record, like we need to pass some uh, URL, right? So let's say, let me pass the same login.salesforce.com in the Selenium IDE. So the first step is like we need to pass the playback base URL. So I'm just clicking on the uh, record and then it will ask for the playback base URL. I'm just clicking on the playback base URL and clicking the option called as start recording. So when I click on the start recording, automatically, okay, a new Chrome window will be opening up so you could see like it is opening the chrome window so where it is like uh, showing like uh, where it is displaying the message called as an selenium ide is recording so which means like whatever the action we are going to perform and each and every action is going to be recorded by the selenium ide for example if i click here okay you could see it is recording my action and if I type something, let's say I am typing as an Aravind. So which means it indicates like we are typing something. And now I am perform another one click operation. In password, just I am typing as 123. And then I am clicking on it, clicking somewhere. Now I am clicking on the login. So whatever the like action I have done, so for each and every action, so at the back end, so it will capture the respective comment. So now let me just stop this recording. Okay, and it is asking for some test case name. So let's say like, let us, let me give it as a Salesforce and then I'm click on the OK button. So now whatever the action we have performed, so all the action will be captured in the comment section. So which means in the comment sections, so user actions are captured. In similar way, in the value section, so user inputs are captured so like here you could see like here i have typed the value called as an username as an aravind and i'm um, having the password as an 123 so we are having the comment and target and what is mean by this uh, target so just let me click on any line okay here you could be able to see something called as an target so if i click on this target drop down we could be able to see like something called as an id is equal to username name is equal to username and they have written css some hspot etc so where this uh, came from in the sense like if you just open this uh, particular username text box and if you right click and inspect this username uh, text box here in this particular node you could see the property called as an id is equal to username and name is equal to username so which is nothing but these are the backend element so what happening here is like the selenium id is capturing the associated backend element and it is storing in the storing in the target section so whenever we run this script let's say i'm just going to run this test so whenever i run this test it will re-repeat the same step so whatever the action which i have done so it will re-repeat the same step and you could see everything is uh, getting passed so how it is re-repeating the same step in the sense as the target value as the backend element is captured so it is going to refer the backend element and in the appropriate backend element if we have the respective action it is going to execute the action followed by if you have any input it is going to inject the input so this is the like uh, uh, primary uh, scenario so which the uh, selenium has offered so even like whenever i ran this test for a number of times so it will redoing the same operation
so whenever there is an deviation so we can say the particular scenario is getting failed so which means like the automation is like pretty simple right so we can just uh, record the flow and then like uh, we can rerun whenever required right then why we are learning the coding so the reason here is like so whenever like uh, you are started to using this selenium ide so you can't automate the like or you can you can't record the big flows so only the short flows can be uh, recorded and other thing is like we can call this selenium ide as a comment line runner okay so what is mean by comment line runner in the sense so whatever the comments which is available here it will execute only those comments so it won't have other knowledge which means like for example so if the if your internet is slow your web page may load very slowly so during that time so we need to wait so till the entire web page get loaded but uh, the selenium ide don't have that uh, knowledge so whatever the steps it is where is mentioned it will executing the steps which means like we call it as a comment line runner so whatever it is mentioned it will re-execute the same thing and other thing is like in many cases it when we try to automate the uh, like uh, big flow or if you are navigating to the different screen it won't it doesn't give the expected result okay so we can't expect the expected result in other language we can say the optimization is pos not possible so which means like with the help of the coding so we can't do any validation so whatever it is recorded we are re re-executing the same thing which means like the optimized way is not possible so we can say the code optimization is not possible when we try to use the uh, selenium ide so that is the reason like instead of using the selenium ide so now we are using the other version so where the code optimization is possible which means like we can build our own code and whatever the possible validation the user feels to include so they can include all the possible logic so that is why like we are not using the selenium ide and how the selenium ide work in the sense like initially like we are recording the script and post recording it will generate some comment called as an selenius comment okay so it will generate the selenius comment the selenius comment is nothing but like whatever it is recorded in the comments target and value section so we call it as an selenius comment and when we like play again like it will refer the selenium comment and it will re-execute the same test so that is what i am telling it is an record and playback testing and the selenium comment is a language uh, independent to the selenium so only in the selenium it will generate this uh, common target value but in the real time so nowhere we are using the selenium ide and instead of the selenium ide so we have started to use the other version so say like kind of an rc web driver and the grid so why we are not using the selenium ide in the sense because like the code optimization is not possible and it is acting as a inline comment runner so inline comment runner in the sense whatever the action the user is mentioning so it will re-executing the same action and it doesn't have the uh, any other knowledge if uh, any other unexpected situation occurs the selenium id doesn't have the knowledge to handle the unexpected situation instead of like it will terminate the uh, terminate the execution or it will fail the execution so that is why like nowhere we are using the selenium ide and this is the version one of the selenium and um, considering this uh, all this uh, drawback so next to the newer version has been developed so which we call it as an selenium rc so rc is nothing but we call it as a remote control so where the code optimization is possible okay so code optimization in the sense like you can use your own programming language like uh, java python etc and it supports multiple browser as well okay so you can execute the script in the multiple browser as well so how this is enabled in the sense the selenium has developed so many selenium servers and the client libraries and with the help of this so they were able to achieve the code optimization 
and they were able to uh, run in the various browser as well as the in the various operating system but uh, in later days what happened so in selenium rc there were a lot of bugs so they have fixed the respective bugs and they have renamed the version called as an selenium web driver so selenium web driver is nothing but it's an updated version of an rc so whatever the features which is available in an rc will be available in the web driver which means like we can be able to do the code optimization um, but whatever the bugs which is present in an rc is fixed in the updated version so the updated version which is available currently in a market we call it as an selenium web driver and we are going to use this selenium web driver for our coding and other thing like we are having a selenium grid so this is something different i will covering at the uh, later part so at the high level answer so we can say the selenium grid is used to for an so parallel execution okay so here we will be discussing uh, the concept called as an hub, hub and node in the later part so what is mean by hub and node in the sense so we can initiate the parallel run so parallel run in the sense so in a single click you can run the same scenario in multiple browsers or in a multiple operating system or in the different versions of the browser so that is why like uh, we are using the selenium grid so i will explaining the selenium grid i will give you on the demo so like how we can run or how we can do the parallel execution in our system which means like our script can be run parallelly in multiple browser so here the another key point here is like so for the entire automation like we are going to rely on the selenium web driver so whatever the servers and library files which are available in the selenium web driver we are going to utilize that servers and library files and we are going to do the automation so the automation is achieved with the help of the selenium web driver okay so till this point does anyone have any doubts okay so you want me to repeat it again yes okay fine okay so just like i will re repeat so like um, the selenium ide so this is the first version of the selenium so when the selenium ide come into a market like uh, it come up with a feature like uh, stating that it will support only in the chrome and the firefox and how it work in the chrome and the firefox in the sense like we should add the extension so from where we are going to add the extension in the sense in the appropriate store so if you are using in the chrome add it from the chrome store so if you in the if you are in using the firefox you can add it from the mozilla store as my in my system i doesn't have the mozilla so as i have only the chrome so what i did i am have just navigated to the chrome store okay so on inside the chrome store so i am searching with the extension called as an selenium ide and post searching the selenium id you could be able to see this uh, blue color icon and you can just click on this uh, extension and um, for you guys for the very first time as you have in added this extension so here instead of the remove from chrome like the add to chrome button will be present you can click on the add to chrome so once you click on the add to chrome automatically the selenium id will be added in the extension section okay in the extension section the id will be get added up and uh, once it is added up you can open the selenium id so how you can open the selenium id in the sense like you can just double click on the extension and you can double click on the selenium id so it will automatically open the selenium id so whenever we are using any of an id the key step is like we need to create a project so here i am just creating the new project so you can give uh any project name so i am just giving as the demo and then i'm clicking on the okay so here with the help of an selenium ide we are going to do the record and playback testing so record and playback testing in the sense like we are going to record something and we are going to replay the same thing again and again so how we are doing in our camera like we may record uh, any of the videos and uh, whenever we are playing the video for n number of times so the same clip is going to be played so the clips are not going to be changed so whenever the change in clips occurred we can say it is an issue in similar way like here we are going to record the flow of the web page so like how we can record the play, flow of the rec, uh, web page in the sense at the, the right corner so there is an option called as an uh, start recording so if you click on the start recording it will ask for the 
playback url so or base url so what is meant by base url in the sense the url which you are going to use for the testing is called as a playback base url so here i either i can use the login.salesforce or in other case let's say i am going to use this um, google.com so what i'm doing i'm just copying the google.com and i am placing this google here now i am clicking on the start recording so whenever i click on the start recording automatically the google will be opening up and we could be able to see the message below the selenium id is recording so when i prefer perform the click operation so the click operation will be recorded in the selenium ide so for example here i am just uh, searching the keyword called as in madurai and then like i am clicking on the enter button so after that i am getting the results of the uh, madurai i am just a scrub I do the scroll so these are the operation which i have done so pause that like i'm just stopping my recording so once i stop my recording so it will ask for the test name so test name in the sense the flow name so let's say as i recorded the google flow so i can say it as an google search flow and then i'm clicking on the okay button so now like whatever the operation we have done all the operation will be recorded in this three section called as a comment target and value so generally the comment will uh, like uh, contain the uh, user action so whatever the user action we have done all the user action will be recorded in the comment so target is nothing but it will be capturing the back end property which is nothing but it is capturing the back end element so when you click on this here you could see it is showing like id name css something so if you navigate to this uh, google web page and if you right click and inspect over this particular field so the back end the associated back end node will be opening so in which this is the back end node highlighting here you could see it is having name is equal to q id is equal to apjq so the same thing has been um, recorded here so when we rerun it rerun this scenario so it is going to re replicate the same step so like whatever it is captured okay so like uh, whatever uh, we have captured it is going to re repeat the same thing so generally like right, i think here it the recording is not uh, happened properly because like i have uh, injected the input but the input is not captured here so which means this is the drawback of the selenium id so we can't uh, uh, always heads up the uh, correct result so even right like, so here uh, it is not inputting the uh, injecting the input so which means the input is not recorded so which uh, which means if it is of a programming language so the programming language will cure the programming language have an idea so what to do but here the selenium id doesn't have an idea so what we need to do so that is why like it is failing the scripting so that is what i told like the selenium id will act as a inline command runner so which is nothing but like whatever the step which is mentioned it will re-replicate the same step and it doesn't give any of the expected result okay so that is why like we are not using the selenium id so for the better result and for the better optimization so we are dealing with the other version called as an selenium rc the updated version of the selenium rc is called as an selenium web driver so where we are doing the code optimization which is nothing but with the help of any of the programming language so in our case like we are using the java and with the help of the java we are going to do the automation and with the help of the selenium web driver okay so when we use the selenium web driver we are having many servers and libraries and we are going to utilize those servers and libraries and with the help of the servers and libraries we are going to do our coding so that is why like we are using the selenium web driver got it thank you